Alright, here we go. Welcome to a 1v1 on <laughs> Kalani Ferma Winter. This is going to be Complexity vs. Erg. Complexity playing as Ober Commander West in the West base, and Erg playing as US, or no, Soviets in the East base. Going with the conscript, double conscripts, Dark Complexity going with Folks Grenadiers. Sending Sturm Pioneers towards the strategic point immediately outside of his base. And then moving towards the right side to grab the strategic point. Oh, not the right side, my right side on this wrong camp, camera angle. Moving south to grab this strategic point. And then... Prepare for combat. Destroying this building with his SWS half-track, apparently. So he does not even want his opponent to have the opportunity to potentially camp this area and pin him in his base. He's just going to destroy the building completely right off the bat. He's sending Folks Grenadiers towards the strategic point here in the north. Storm Pioneers are grabbing the munitions point. We also have Erg sending conscripts towards the strategic point here. These uh, these conscripts moving straight towards the fuel, so he's kind of neglected to take the cutoff here. And I don't know if these conscripts are going to be able to take it in time. Like by the time these conscripts have managed to capture the fuel, so he's kind of losing out on income. He definitely should pro he should definitely be constructing this from inside the capture circle as well. This is just this is just wasteful. And complexity is actually moving up to destroy the church with his SWS, so he is just going to demolish all the buildings. <laughs> okay, now conscripts are moving to take the cutoff, and they have taken up a position in their green cover and are capturing the fuel. These combat engineers taking up a position in the house and more conscripts over here on the right. And this is just outright conscripts. Bam, we have four conscripts hitting the field. No tech structures being produced at all. Ready to execute. And it looks like complexity is going to meet spam with spam. Fielding four folks grenadier squads. Throwing up some reinforced steel barricades. SWS half track. Oh, an AT grenade goes out on the SWS half track as he's trying to destroy the church. Looks like he got kind of lazy about destroying it. It's taking too long. It's kind of hard to destroy with the SWS, I guess. It actually still has most of its health despite looking pretty destroyed. Oh no! It's getting swarmed! It's getting swarmed, and I don't know if Complexity has the, uh, has the wherewithal to punish this push. He's going to lose his SWS half-track there, and I don't think he's going to inflict any real losses on his opponent as a result. If he had gotten a Kugelwagen, maybe he could have, uh, maybe he could have suppressed that stuff. Has chosen. Breakthrough Doctrine, so he's going to uh, field a Sturm office here? No, he's going to get a second squad of Sturm Pioneers. Interesting decision. Up against Conscript Spam, it's actually not, uh, not a terribly bad idea. But Panzer Fusiliers would probably be more appealing if he had the, if he had the command points for them. She does not. Your predecessor died a hero! The glob of conscripts is making its way towards these folks grenadiers. 
Sturm Officer has been fielded by Complexity as well. Conscripts are moving up. I don't think that uh, Eric has purchased Molotovs. No, he has not. Only anti-tank grenades so far. Con Conscripts are going to be too much for these folks grenades to take on. There's just way too many squads. And they will be forced to retreat. But Complexity's map control is definitely quite good. Holding two of the victory points. One of the fuels and the only munitions. One of the, one of the interesting features about Kolodny Winter is that there's only one central munitions point. Although I, I find it a lot easier to hold as the west base than as the east base because of this green cover. Take a pretty inopportune retreat path because of the reinforced steel barricade and the bonus from the Sturm Officer is definitely helping those uh, the Sturm Pioneers to inflict damage on that conscript squad, but they are at pretty much full health, so not a real threat of them getting wiped. Folks Grenadiers will grab the victory point there in the north. Regimental headquarters advise Panzer Fusiliers are ready for action. And Eric has 135 fuel now. He has purchased healing in his base as a flamethrower. Maybe thinking about taking up soon. The fact that he um, destroyed Complexity's first SWS half track means that taking up really quickly could definitely be extremely bad for Complexity because it'll be a while before he can take up himself. His second SWS is just hitting the field now at seven minutes, which means even if he were to purchase some kind of structure with it now, he still isn't going to have access to tier four for until like 13 minutes or something like that. It's actually quite important that Complexity tech up as quickly as he can. His loss of his truck was such a significant setback. Nice flame burst, oh no! The stern pioneers are going to get away by a hair. Ooh, that heavy mortar almost. That's some nasty friendly fire there. Panzer Fusiliers and stern pioneers combating some conscripts there. Meanwhile, some squads here in the south doing some harassment. Folks grenadiers in this building firing on these uh, conscripts. Oh no! It looks like a heavy mortar shell just landed on top of everything. And Complexity loses a full Sturm Pioneer squad and a full Panzer Fusilier squad. Ouch. And Complexity is floating 210 munitions. I can't believe that he hasn't purchased any Panzer Shreks yet. I wonder what he's planning on doing with all of that munitions. make me want to spread my folks grenades out a little bit more than that, but still no Molotov research from Erg. Complexity is finally purchasing a battle group headquarters at nine minutes. Probably one of the latest battle group headquarters I've ever seen, at least when purchased first. That will give him access to healing from the Jagdpanzer. Meanwhile, we do see Tier 2 being purchased by Erg and a Zis field gun. The enemy has taken our supply sector. He's also chosen guard motor coordination. And while he uh, will be fielding the heavy mortar, of course, he didn't purchase any guard rifles. But that does mean that he's intending on spamming T-3485s when uh, the time comes. Which is a real shame because he definitely could have punished Complexity for losing his SWS half track really hard had he opted to go tier 3, but. It's just not what he chose to do. And that being said, his map control is abysmal. 
He holds no territory, not even one fuel point at the moment. Although we do see some mines going down, conscripts spreading out towards the left side and going, going to attack the uh, the south. Definitely leaves the east base player vulnerable uh, to being cut off here. Stern pioneers are going to catch that combat engineer squad in red cover. They do retreat just barely in time, though. Meanwhile, Folks Grenadiers are taking all the territory. Although there will be a harassment attempt by these conscripts across the north. Ooh, that mine was pretty good. Putting five model losses. Conscripts trying to Ura to safety. Meanwhile, these folks from Bears are grabbing the fuel. Conscript only just barely makes it home alive. Field gun is pretty much just sitting here outside the base. I honestly am not even sure why he purchased this. His opponent was really, really behind on tech. And he's not utilizing it aggressively to try and destroy trucks or base defenses or even using the high explosive barrage, so. Not sure what he was thinking there. And it looks like he's purchased a standard mortar in addition to his heavy mortar. I'm not sure why he keeps on pur purchasing these mortars when I don't think he's even seen the battle group headquarters. So currently he's pretty much just utilizing them to bombard folks grenadiers that are running around. That being said, he did get a lottery win earlier that double squad wipe with the heavy mortar, which surprisingly only actually got two of the kills despite wiping two full squads. <laughs> Complexity continues to just maintain complete map dominance. This first squad of Panzer Fusiliers has been upgraded with, uh, with G43s, but they're probably going to be forced to retreat soon. Meanwhile, pretty decent sized force is moving up to fight these conscripts. A little bit late to retreat them there. I'm not sure if they're going to get away. They are retreating through deep snow, giving those Sturm Pioneers ample opportunity to fire on them. And they will get wiped. Definitely should have retreated a little sooner. That being said, he is mounting a bit of an assault here in the south. Uh, moving his team weapons up, moving his mortars up, throwing down more mines, taking some territory back. He's pretty much unopposed in this area. And he is going to be throwing out some Maxims as well. And as this field gun is actually going to be used to destroy this reinforced steel barricade. Ooh, complexity is sending a pretty big blob right up the gut. He can avoid getting hit by any mortars, which it looks like he will. Ooh, that squad took a pretty nasty one. He's going to force a pretty much full retreat from everything. Unfortunately, the field gun was not set up in a in a position to fire a high explosive barrage at that, and it's now a little bit exposed, but it looks like it should be able to make it back to the safety of the base. Meanwhile, there are two conscript squads over here. Folks 
damage from your squad is kind of in danger of getting wiped by that mine. And that Maxim is in danger of getting wiped by that shoe mine. Complexity has finally spent his munitions and purchased three Panzer Shreks as well as throwing down that mine right there. Possibly others? Not sure. Mortar continues to harass Complexity's infantry. It looks like that mine did hit those folks grenadiers, but they will make it away with one man remaining. So, a bit of a lucky break. G43s are firing on that flamethrower. Flamethrower was taking heavy damage, but Complexity opted to leave the building. Oh no! Two models get dropped before they even get inside. Definitely needs to retreat that flamethrower. He risks losing it. Not really getting any lucky bursts. He does decide to retreat and gets away just barely in time. Meanwhile, the mortar convinces his complexity to retreat as well. Yet again, a conscript squad getting caught in a very dangerous position and forced to take an inopportune retreat path because of that reinforced steel barricade. Very nearly getting wiped, but a Maxim arrives to screen just barely in time. And it will just barely be able to make it away. It looks like Eric is focusing very heavily on this cutoff in South Area now. Trying to get it back under control and hold the line until his... 45 has arrived, which is about one command point, 60 fuel away. So about three minutes at his current resource income if he can hold onto this territory. As for complexity, it looks like he's purchasing a Sturm Tiger, which is a uh, pretty good purchase against a heavy mortar, but it's kind of dangerous because when you see a heavy mortar, it's a high likelihood the T-34 85s are on the way. And a Storm Tiger can't do really much against T-3485s, of course, backed up by three Panzer Shreks. Pretty safe, and if you can land a Storm Tiger rocket on one of the T-3485s, or both, then your, then your Panzer Shreks will have no problem winning the engagement uh, from there. But that's easier said than done. Ooh, Heavy Mortar inflicting heavy damage. That folks running your squad, he will be forced to retreat. Fortunately, the Flamethrower doesn't inflict any particularly... Oh! Nasty damage on, on the retreat there. Oh, a huge blob is making its way towards the center. Cut off again. Fortunately, there are Maxims set up to deter the push. Everything is going to get suppressed. For some reason, he decided to retreat that Maxim, though. Oh, no. I'm not sure Complexity is watching that squad. He can't afford to lose any Panzer Shreks at this point. He's not paying any attention. That is a shame. That being said, it looks like he just wiped something with his Sturm Tiger, though. It was a flamethrower squad. Sturm Tiger's on the field, flamethrower gets wiped, but he could not afford to lose that Panzer Shrek. He basically needs all the Panzer Shreks he can get. He should throw out another Panzer Shrek squad, like right now. He needs to upgrade this one. He should probably produce one more just to be safe. Or at least a Raketenwerfer or something. Because the T-3485s are going to be here soon. Only 25 fuel away. Of course, it's going to be important. Very important for Eric to get control of his cutoff back. Or at least this fuel point. This one's actually a lot easier to hold from the east base. But... Maxim has been stolen. Force of infantry moving towards the southern fuel, north fuel getting taken by some conscripts. And as soon as that fuel point falls, the C-3485s are going to arrive, and complexity really doesn't have much of a solution to that other than two Panzer Shreks. Three Panzer Shreks he is. Purchasing a third now. Sturm Tiger is reloading. Actually, it's reloaded. 
And even with a full squad wipe, we've got like no veterancy at all. It's insanely yeah, difficult to vet up string tigers for some reason. Oh. Let's retreat those. There we go. Regimental headquarters advised. Panzer fusiliers are ready for. Oh, man, some of these mortar shots are just really, really painful. I definitely think he should prioritize those mortars next time he moves his Sturm Tiger up. Good work, comrades. This now belongs to us. Both of them actually quite undefended. Here it comes. I think he saw it coming and is going to retreat. Sturm Tiger's already firing. Unfortunately, that shot inflicted no damage at all. Taking out only a fire, he probably should have canceled the shot when he saw that the mortar was retreating. I think he had aimed it a little bit in the retreat path of the mortar, but he misjudged slightly. Command level capabilities ready for deployment. Storm Tiger is reloading in a pretty forward position, hoping to utilize it again quite soon. That field gun it got way way over aggressive trying to take out that storm tiger while it was reloading. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. The mortars will continue to bombard those Panzer Fusiliers and the T-3485s have finally hit the field. The uh, conscripts here in the north have also managed to take control of two victory points up there. So definitely help Panzer Fusiliers taking heavy damage. And they're standing so close together he needs to spread them out a little bit more. But he wants to focus down that maximum, and he does manage to do so. He will retreat one squad that's almost destroyed. Second squad retreats as well. Meanwhile, a mortar or something just inflicted some pretty heavy casualties there. Oh no, the T-3485 is just circled around to a completely undefended Schwerer Pan uh, headquarters. Schwerer Panzer headquarters. And... There's no way for him to stop this from happening. He is firing the Sturm Tiger though, and they will probably take it. Yeah. And the engine gets damaged, although that's a weird icon. I'm not sure what the deal is there, but Schwer Panzer headquarters goes down and he hasn't even produced any Obersoldaten out of it. He's produced nothing out of it. No Obersoldaten. Well, he's produced the Sturm Tiger. But he really needs to get his his Panzer Shreks. Fielded. Deal with this. Meanwhile, he's getting bombarded in this area. He's very clumped. Every heavy mortar that lands is potential squad wipe. And there goes another Panzer Shrek. He's lost two Panzer Shrek squads now, and his stolen Maxim also goes down. Where's the other T-34? There it is. It's creeping back to base with this weird damaged engine icon. There's a clock. There's a clock in the icon, so... Maybe that means that... I don't know what that means. I don't know why getting your engine damaged by a Storm Tiger gets its own special icon, but apparently it looks pretty much the same. Although I guess... I guess this particular form of engine damage doesn't uh, produce any flames in the back. So, that's the difference, I guess. There's no flames in the back of the tank. So it's ever so slightly different. Panzer Fusiliers are a little clumped. He's trying to get an AT grenade off, but it's not going to happen. He will be forced to retreat. His map control is definitely wavering. Losing territory in the south to the Soviets, but at the same time taking some territory of his own here in the north. And he keeps on spreading his forces out, which is going to make him unlikely to be able to take on a T-34 without grouping up some more Panzer Shreks. He should probably throw another Volksgrenadier squad on the field, considering he has not got very much fuel right now. He can't get a Panther because his fair Panzer headquarters went down. So... I guess he could wait for a Yag Tiger, but that's a lifetime away. Definitely think a Raketenwerfer at least would help bridge the gap. Storm Tiger looking for a target here in the south. 
I definitely think you should try and take out that heavy mortar. And it looks like that's exactly what he's gonna do. Oh, there it goes. Completely destroys the weapon and the green cover it was hiding behind. Although a T-34 is seeking a little bit of revenge. But there is a pretty decent amount of infantry available to support. Marked vehicle is going to go out on the Sturm Tiger. He's trying to pull it back to safety and he's taking a very good route. T-34 can't possibly chase. Marked vehicle plane does get shot down on the battlefield, but I don't think it inflicts any losses on anybody. Sturm Tiger will be able to make it to safety to reload. So that heavy mortar was destroyed quite efficiently. And he needs to keep those Sturm Tiger shots coming. Wait, what? Oh, a full squad of conscripts just got wiped on retreat by those G-43s. Blizzard conditions are imminent. Oh no, his Volksgrenadiers were so clumped. Way too clumped and they get wiped. I don't know why he's overextending so hard with his G43s, what is he thinking? Being forced to make a full retreat and he doesn't have much of any anti-tank left at all except for a single Panzer Shrek which is nowhere nearby to support. Sturm Tiger will be reloaded in three seconds. But he desperately needs more anti-tank. Trying to protect his base with a shoe mine that he's planting right in front of his opponent. Could throw an anti-tank grenade out with these Panzer Fusiliers. He's also got a Panzer Shrek upgrading on those Volks Grenadiers. Moving his Sturm Tiger into range of his Schwer his new Schwer Panzer headquarters could certainly help as well. To supplement the damage. Panzer Shrek upgrade will complete. Panzer Fusiliers need to throw out an anti tank grenade. Oh well. Sturm Tiger attempts to fire on the tank, but it does not connect. Meanwhile, the Folks Grenadier squad is starting to vet up, getting some shots off. This, pan this Folks Grenadier squad should definitely retreat. And that combat engineer squad is about to freeze to death. Sturm Tiger is reloading. Base folks grenadiers are probably going to get forced away by this ooh, by this group of conscripts, although that Shrek just snipes two conscript models there. He's throwing a grenade. Snagging him vet four. He just went from vet two to vet four. In that, in that one engagement, so that definitely helps. Mortars are bombarding this position. And I think he just lost one of his squads of Panzer Fusiliers. Fortunately. He's producing a second Sturm Tiger? <laughs> what? He really needs a Panther right now. What is he doing? All right. If his Sturm Tigers can take out everything except for the T-3485s, particularly all the team weapons and conscript squads and everything, that will help. I think he's gonna miss. Oh, he caught them as they were attempting to retreat. Wipes that squad. Only one conscript squad remains. But complexity doesn't have very much. T-34s rear their heads on the right side, or in the north. <laughs> And another folks grenadier squad just gets vaporized. He cannot, he can't let them clump like that. Oh, jeez. That Sturm Tiger just got caught reloading. It's 
going to get abandoned for sure. Although they're actually prioritizing the, uh, the headquarters rather than the reloading Storm Tiger. It must have been just outside their vision range. And then <laughs> they see the second Storm Tiger and will choose to retreat. Storm Tiger is actually going to attempt to chase the T-34s. What is he doing? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! He's so exposed. The second Storm Tiger has reloaded and is on its way towards the center. This one is taking tons of damage. I think it could go down. Fortunately, Eric does not have the munitions for Mark Vehicle. This one is firing! Oh! That Storm Tiger shot just destroyed! Just destroyed a T-34 and the other one will make it to safety! Well, not to safety, but... It also goes down, sadly. A Panzer Shrek is in the area to attempt to push away the T-34. He needs to get repairs! Oh. He needed to get repairs up on the um, Schreyer Panzer headquarters, but unfortunately he was too late. He should have been doing that a long time ago. Meanwhile, the mortars continue to bombard this position. Fortunately, they're not falling on his battle group headquarters, or that probably would be at, in danger of being destroyed as well. Oh man, complexity is now floating quite a bit of manpower. Should probably throw out some more Folks Grenadiers with Panzer Shreks or Panzer Fusiliers. Eric is going to have a new set of T-34-85s very soon. I don't know how complexity could possibly hope to stop it at this point. <laughs> if his second Sturm Tiger had survived that engagement, he would be in much better position right now. Unfortunately, that did not happen, and trying to utilize the Storm Tiger to battle your opponent's tanks is kind of inefficient. It's better if you can try and take out these team weapons. He just continues to get blasted by mortars. He needs to, he needs to keep up the squad wipes, basically. Complexity spends a ton of manpower fielding new Storm Officer and Panzer Fusilier squad. And throwing up another Schwer Panzer headquarters. Hopefully he'll be able to keep this one alive, even just placing a single Rakettenwerfer right here by the Schwer Panzer headquarters, pointed at this avenue of approach that those T-34s keep on taking. Would help so much, and just one, one Sturm Tiger shot on all this crap would just do wonders. Area command vehicle has gone static. HQ operations now underway. Wow, devastating barrage on those Panzer Fusiliers. They need to retreat out of the barrage. There they go. Oh, Sturm Tiger just <laughs> crushes almost an entire Maxim team, and it is firing on the mortars. Oh! Not as good of a shot as it could have been. Wiping one squad, inflicting model losses on another, but not fully destroying the weapon. It will be recruited, and it was not the heavy mortar that got wiped either. Just a standard mortar, and a second set of T-3485s has hit the field. He needs to make sure to leave his Sturm Tiger within defensive range of his Schwerer Panzer headquarters. He needs to get some serious AT over to his Schwerer Panzer headquarters right now. He needs Rakettenwerfers. But unfortunately, he purchased a Sturm Officer, which is helpless to do anything. More Panzer Fusiliers won't be able to do anything either. Here comes an entire brigade of tanks. Already, his Schwerer Panzer headquarters is taking a ton of damage from the T-34. These two T-34s are moving up to push as well, and it looks like there's not much he can do. Sturm Tiger just got abandoned. The Schwerer HQ is doing very nice damage to the rear armor of that T-34. It will be forced back with the other two. Oh no, squad wipe on those Panzer Fusiliers. Panzer Shrek being produced on uh, 
those Fulch Grenadiers. Now that it's been abandoned, I believe if he crews it, it will be reloaded. So that helps, I guess. And for whatever reason, he's attempting to destroy the abandoned Sturm Tiger rather than the Schwerer Panzer headquarters. He needs to pull back. He's going to lose that T-34. He won't be able to destroy it in time. What is he doing? Senseless loss of that T-34. And yeah, I was correct. He's already able to fire it again immediately. So that certainly helps. He needs to move it up and take out one of those mortars. Look at that. That is asking to get blasted by a Sturm Tiger. He needs to get that over there before his... his he needs to stop repairing the Sturm Tiger and start repairing this. And he needs to move the Sturm Tiger up to, to fire. Uh... Meanwhile, Soviets are retaking their cutoff here. Plexi really hurting for resources. He has no fuel, no manpower. Enough munitions for one more Panzer Shrek, which would definitely be a good purchase. The mortars are bleeding his manpower quite heavily. T-34 has caught his Sturm Tiger out of position. It's attempting to fire. Oh, that was the Sturm Tiger shot he was waiting for. Wiping two mortars, destroying one, and bringing the uh, bringing that Maxim down to one man. Of course, he desperately needs to get it to safety. Sturm Pioneers are attempting to repair the Schwerer Panzer headquarters. He needs to pull it back behind, get it out of the line of fire of that T-34. Oh, the T-34 is going to disengage. Wow. Unfortunately, the anti-tank grenade just, like, phased into unreality for some reason. So he does not get the engine damage on that T-34, but his Sturm Tiger is safe, which is the important thing, and his opponent has been reduced to only two T-34s, both of which are quite wounded. He's now trying to... Oh, the marked target plane just got shot down over there. Trying to engage the, um... Maxim is forced away by those folks grenadiers and the T-34 here is probably going to need to pull back. Vet 4 folks grenadiers can be tough. That being said, he cannot let them stand like that. He needs to like move them around in the capture circle so that they don't get wiped in one shot, which has happened twice this game. He really can't afford for it to happen anymore. He needs to, he needs to execute like perfectly. Sturm Tiger is reloaded. All mortars have been destroyed or decrewed, I believe. Yeah. So, next on the laundry list of things for that Sturm Tiger to take out is probably Maxims. Or try and land lucky shots on the tanks, I guess. More Sturm Pioneers hitting the field. What was that? Oh no! Oh no, a full squad of Folks Grenadiers with a Shrek just went down to a demo charge. Sturm Tiger in a very vulnerable position, getting charged at point blank range by that T-34. All shots penetrating at that range as well, and there's no anti-tank in the area to support. I think this could be the end of his Sturm Tiger once and for all. Although he does have two support uh, squads in the area available to repair, he could try and out-repair the damage. Although I don't think that's going to be feasible. Gosh, every shot just continues to penetrate the frontal armor. Oh, but that shot just missed. He needs to stop moving the Sturm Tiger and try and out-repair the DPS at this point. Sturm Tiger is firing! No, the Sturm Tiger is destroyed before the shot can go out. I thought we were about to witness a miracle. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Meanwhile, these Panzer Fusiliers are pinned. The Schwer Panzer headquarters 
is still alive and kicking. A new squad of folks grenadiers has been produced. Meanwhile, as for the victory points, it's 110 to 195. So, complexity has the lead. He has time. This game has now run into f <laughs> run on <laughs> for 40 minutes. But those two T-34s remain on the field. Oh, no, main gun destroyed. No, not the demo charge. Don't hit that demo charge, please. No. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that is not good. <laughs> so many demo charges. Oh, poor complexity is losing everything. Heavy damage being inflicted on those. <laughs> Storm pioneers. will be forced to pull back and reinforce at this battle group headquarters. At least he doesn't have to deal with mortars constantly bombarding him. He needs to be careful with that folks Renadier squad. He can't afford to lose it. He really can't. It's his only Shrek. It's his only hope. And it's not much of a hope. I can't believe he has not made a Raketan Warfer. This whole time, he has yet to make a single Raketan Warfer. I think he can out-repair the damage that this tank is going to be dealing to his Sheriff Panzer headquarters because both of these have been upgraded with support packages and one of them is Vet 3 so he will be repairing very quickly and his folks Grenadiers are on their way to push the tank back. Meanwhile these G43s appear to be winning this fight against that Maxim. Apparently yellow cover is sufficient to avoid getting suppressed. Oh, nope, there they go. And a new set of T-3485s has been called in. Complexity should probably not have thrown that grenade. He needs all the munitions he can spare for Panzer Shreks. Oh no, this looks like it could be the final nail in the coffin. Finally, Complexity is purchasing a Rakenwerfer, but it's so late. And his Panzer Shrek isn't even moving up to support. He can't out-repair two tanks. He definitely can't out-repair three. Which means that this fair- Oh! This fair Panzer Headquarters was basically purchased for nothing. Oh no, squad wipe. Well, there's a Raketan Warfare on the field now. And it's actually kind of a shame, really, that uh, Complexity has spent 240 fuel on uh, headquarter buildings alone. He could have just stopped making them and called in a Yag Tiger. That's probably what he should have done. But then again, he also <laughs> purchased two Sturm Tigers, and it looks like Pathing is about to kill this T-34. Main gun destroyed. Oh, okay, with the flak base defenses taken out. Pretty senseless loss of that T-34. Somehow complexity is hanging onto this game. Grenadier squad will retreat and complexity is floating 870 manpower. He needs to throw out more folks grenadiers to bolster his anti-tank capability. Another Raketan Warfare probably wouldn't hurt. 
More Panzer Fusiliers certainly wouldn't hurt. I mean, if we take a look at the Soviet army, he doesn't have much as far as infantry, just combat engineers, of course. <sighs> More demo charges are going down. Complexity really can't afford to hit that mine, can't afford to hit any more demo charges, he needs that minesweeper out. I can't believe he doesn't have his minesweeper equipped right now. Oh jeez, retreat? I don't even know if they're gonna make it out. Yeah, I guess they'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. T-34 activates secure mode and is going to be capturing territory that way. Well, this Rakettenwerfer is a little bit unsupported. Complexity has to cap with whatever he can. He's also getting a little bit of extra fuel from uh, all these destroyed things. I think he can salvage these base structures as well, although I don't know if he knows that. Yeah, I don't think he realizes that he can do that. Which is a shame, because I think he could really use the fuel. He needs to get that Yag Tiger out way faster than he's going to get it out. <laughs> he did get a first squad of uh, Folks Grenadiers and is moving up to fire on an engine damage T-34. He is cloaked. Oh no! Eric is not reacting very quickly at all to the fact that this is happening. He needs to move. Is it immobilized? No. What is he doing? Oh, and that squad of Folks Grenadiers has two Panzer Shreks. I didn't know that. Well, that's interesting, although it I'm not sure it's going to survive its current retreat. These folks grenadiers also being engaged by a ton of combat engineers. Complexity wipes one squad though before retreating. It's very nice there and it looks like this stuff is going to survive because the T-34 is disengaging and missing lots of shots. I don't know if they're going to survive. I hope they're not upgrading with the Panzer Shrek right now because if they are it would be a waste. They got wiped on retreat. A fresh Rakettenwerfer has been fielded, though. Please don't lose that Vet 3 T-34. Doing anything silly. And there's a Vet 2 T-34 wreaking havoc on those Panzer Fusiliers, and there's a Demo Charge there, Demo Charge there. It's going to be really, really difficult for Complexity to retake any ground. Well, honestly, it's a miracle that he's survived this long, and that Rakettenwerfer plus Folks Grenadiers, oh, sniped it well beyond maximum range! By that Rakettenwerfer, it's like homed in, it like scattered or something. I can't believe he is taking all these tanks down, that being said, he does not have very much time. 90, command 90 victory points to 93. And the Soviet does have complexity triple capped. He needs to get something on the field. That Ken Warfer is getting taken down. Oh no, it got decrewed. That one had a little bit of veterancy too. That's a bit of a waste. Oh no, and his minesweeper just died for no reason at all. He needs to just focus primarily on the north. He's getting taken out by one Maxim. Why is he floating so much manpower? Throw some fusiliers out, make anything! <laughs> oh jeez, a fresh set of T-34s has hit the field because Eric's map control is just too good. It's just too much. Plus he's just sitting in front of a Maxim. Oh. Uh. For a brief moment, it looked like the comeback was possible, but uh, now Complexity has only two squads. A Rakettenwerfer and a Hulk's Grenadier. Oh, that mine just immobilized T-34, though. Wow. Or not immobilized, but uh, destroyed engine. Not that Complexity can really follow up on it with nothing but a... A Folks Grenadier and a Rakettenwerfer and a thousand manpower. Has been permanently established as a static post. <laughs> I 
what is he he's purchasing a Stuka? Oh no, a Puma. Well, that's a huge mistake. I don't know what he's gonna do with a Puma against T345s. I think he'd have better luck losing in the next ten seconds. And that's gonna conclude the game. Well that was weird. That was weird. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.